Nyla's, Nyla's Catering, and Nyla's Food Express. Nyla's is 12 years old. We moved from the States in 2009. We have been functioning in Lagos and Abuja consecutively since then. And Nyla's Food Express is six, about six months old now. We opened up October 1st, 2016. The name Nyla's is actually my goddaughter's name, named after her, uh, Nyla Elliston. She lives in the States. She hasn't met the Nyla brand here in Nigeria yet, so hopefully one of these days she'll be here to see us. I've always loved food. I've always loved playing with food. I've always loved mixing flavors together. I, uh, I still try to do that from time to time on my off time. The motivation behind Nyla is really is very simple. It's pretty much that smile, that satisfactory smile that you get from your clients and from people. You know, when they've actually enjoyed a good meal, they've enjoyed a good laugh over a great glass of wine paired with a fantastic meal. So that's really it. Mm. My dad had these old boys meetings that he used to do, and he'll come back with leftover foods for dogs, and I would actually steal oh. them and try and cook them. I try to make like little fires, take your Ovaltine containers and we cook it. it, used to drive me nuts, but yeah, at least he let me do it. So yes, I've always, always been in the kitchen. I think my favorite dish then, and still is, I'm a die-out pounded yam fan. I can't say I know how to pound, but uh, I can make starch, which is almost as tedious. So, yes. When you decide to take on a path like culinary arts or being a chef or being a cook, it's not something that you would say is stressful because you're enjoying what you're doing. So. Nyla's is to become a foremost uh, food brand in Nigeria. We started out catering and now we have the restaurant which is a quick service restaurant which means you can come in and you can eat whatever you want that's on display and also we do um, create for the food lovers we created um, a food themed event which is called the Curious Diner or our normal Sunday brunches which is where people who want something other than the regular African flair can come in and try different meals or different meal options and different, well for, let's use the Niger term, continental menus that we offer. We partner with um, Intricate Media to also assist us in creating more awareness for the Nyla brand as a whole with everything that we've been doing so far. It was a good one for our first try and uh, they were pretty receptive and um, we've been working on other projects that are coming up and hopefully it'll be a long-term one. I had options but I went with Intricate Media because they were more receptive and I mean for a small business they were willing to work with our budgets and at least they were able to guide us through the process and explain to us what was expected and what would needed to be done. Earlier challenges that I had was understood well what would have been or was the transition from moving from the States back to Nigeria, the cultural differences, the um, what's it called dealing with different sets of clients and expectations from them, which we have been able to conquer. And right now I can say that it was a lesson well learned. I was born in the States. I, I grew up in Nigeria. I moved for college and I moved back. Everyone has a different palate. Everyone, I mean, the way we cook might not be suitable for someone who likes salt or who like, eats more pepper or likes more spicy food. So what we try to do is we take those criticisms and we work on them and we try to tailor whatever we're doing for that particular client for that client exactly. I know there is competition and it would be ignorant of me to say that there is no competition, but I don't see myself as a competitor. We're all in the business to succeed, so I just, I do me, I do what I know best, which is people. So I, that's how, that's the secret, that's my own secret weapon, people, understanding my clients. I 
I always take time out of the kitchen to come talk to them one on one, figure out what they like, what they don't like, what they would like to see differently, and if they're actually foodies, then we try to introduce them to other aspects of our business that they might enjoy. My staff are great, they're fantastic people, they're fantastic set of people, and when we hire people, I always let them know that they're either here for the long term or they, I mean, you're going to figure it out sooner. You're either going to be here or you're not going to be here. But, I mean, we train, we expose you to different things, we make sure that we let you see both sides of the business so that you can understand that when we say, okay, this is why a certain thing has to be done this way, you understand why. So my staff, I, I mean, they're my backbone. I wouldn't trade none of them for anything at all. I am really grateful. Really Thank you. 